Yo, 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 hey guys, what's poppin'? Jock Slade here, back with another unboxing. As you can see, today we have a trio, it's, it's triplets. There's three things that we're going to unbox. One of these, I absolutely know what it is. The other two, well, they are a bit of a mystery. But with that said, before I get started, I just wanna say, it's good to see you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. I really enjoy creating this content for you guys and being able to make video for you guys. And I have a really big video coming up in a couple days where I get to give back to you guys, which is something that I'm always about, making sure I can give back to you guys and provide you guys with tools and things that you need. So that's just a little bit of a hint. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So with that being said, Let's get into these boxes and see exactly what we have. Let's start with this guy on top. Seems pretty light, not too heavy. And uh, I'll just put these guys down on the floor. All right, so this one uh, is one of the packets that I don't know what it is. So let's just get right inside and see what we have here. This one came from the good folks over at Foot Locker. Now, obviously the assumption is that it's sneakers, but it's not heavy enough to be sneakers. It's really, really light to be honest. So I have a lot of bubble wrap here to take this out. Oh, uh, looks like there's some love for Wakanda. Uh, for those that don't know what Wakanda or where, Wakanda, is it where or what Wakanda is? I don't, let me know, am I, am I wrong about that? Is it where Wakanda is or what Wakanda is? Or maybe it's both, anyway. Point is, Wakanda is from the movie Black Panther. It's where Black Panther lives. It's their hidden city, country, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it looks like there's some love for Wakanda here. And uh, let's see what's inside. And, uh, oh, it's a hat. Oh, hats. Cool. Uh, there's a note. Hope you enjoy these Black Panther inspired hats from New Era, available at Foot Locker starting on May 18th. And today is May 18th, I believe. Today's May 17th. So this is actually, Perfect, these will be at Foot Locker starting tomorrow. Uh, now, I personally don't wear a lot of hats. I don't know if you can tell or if you can see from this video, but I happen to have a very big head. So I'm super, super subconscious about wearing hats because I think they make my head look even bigger than it already is. But with that being said, because I like you guys, I will actually try on these hats and you will get to see what they look like on my head. Again, I'm not a good hat model. Head's really big, but let's do it for the culture. Start with this first one. Looks like it has the country flag, and then there is the Black Panther. There's a Panther logo. It says Wakanda there. Actually, I really like this one. Very nice. Wakanda forever on the back, and uh, definitely got to loosen this up because my head's huge. And this is the regular regular hats, I believe. Uh, so that's what that one looks like. So that's what that one. Give you guys a good look at that one. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Cool. The second one is the, just a regular Wakanda with white on it. All right, let's try that one on again. This one's very nice, like that. Some love for Wakanda right there. Oh, this one has the actual Black Panther on the front of the hat. I really like that logo. So this is these are obviously snapbacks. I probably should have mentioned that. These are all snapbacks. Uh, 1992, Oakland, California. And then the New Era logo there. Again, not really opposed, not opposed to it. I like it, not opposed to it. I kind of get down with that one. I feel like I can get down with that one. Then there's one more. And this one just has uh, the picture of the continent of Africa. And then there are like Black Panther paw scratches. There's a paw scratch across it that says forever on the back. New era there. But this one doesn't say Wakanda specifically, uh, but obviously inspired by the movie. So a uh, big shout out to Foot Locker and thank you, New Era. I really appreciate these. These are really, really cool. I think I'm gonna keep this one on for the rest of the unboxing. So thank you to Foot Locker. Thank you to New Era, Wakanda forever. All right, let's move on. All right, so this one, I have an idea of what it is. I'm, I can't say I'm exactly sure what it is. I have an assumption of what it is, but there's a new fly knit shoe that just came out. And I believe this is what it is. This is from the good folks over at Nike. And the shoe looks really clean. It's really clean aesthetic. And I've been wanting to get my hands on these. So I'm really happy that they were nice enough to send me a pair. Uh, so let's hop in and see if this is what I think it is. Uh, get all the paper out of here. Ah, it is. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so most of you guys know, I probably can't talk while I'm doing this. Most of you guys know that I like golf and I love it when they make golf shoes that really blend the world 
What is that? Uh oh, somebody's name. Probably should see that. Uh, I really love it when they blend street fashion and the world of golf together. That's kind of like my vibe. That's where I want my style to lie between like, I can take these on the course and I can also wear these out in the streets. So this is the new fly knit shoe from Nike. Call, but I don't know how to open this. This is a really nice package. I feel like a DJ. Anyway, as you can see, has the Nike logo and then it has the golf logo, Nike golf logo right there. Let's take these out and here. Oh, what's, what is this? Oh, oh, that's dope. Oh, so they have a club cover. Oh, that's dope. So they sent a club cover made out of fly knit. Oh, that's super dope. Oh, big shout out to Nike. Oh, I love, oh, what does it say right there? Sorry, I just saw that. Shiz, shiz knit. Okay, uh, because it's fly knit, you get it, you get it, but that's really dope. Oh, this is a really cool golf head cover, a club cover. That is awesome. I'm gonna put that on my clubs right now. All right, and here is the shoe. So the shoe is based on the Nike fly knit racer. Look at that, let me take those out. So as most of you guys know that wear the Flyknit racers that are aware of the Flyknit racers, they actually fit pretty pretty tight. They're very slim. So if you have a wide foot, it's really kind of hard for you to rock with the Flyknit racer. And it looks like Nike, uh, well, Nike Golf at least was aware of that fact. And so the base of these is definitely wider than your normal Flyknit racer. Actually, hold on, I'll get a Flyknit racer so I can do a quick comparison for you guys. So you can see it. So I just want you guys to be able to see the difference between the two. So you can see what I'm talking about because the Flyknit Racer is definitely thinner than that one. And so is the Flyknit Trainer. I believe I have the Trainer and the Racer here. So I'll bring both of those over. Did you guys hear me? Hello? Guys? All right, cool. All right, so here you go. So this is the Flyknit Racer. This is what the normal one looks like. And you can see that it's a little wider, a little bit. This one, the golf version is definitely a bit more robust and bigger. Now it's a little closer to the actual Flyknit Trainer, but again, it's still a little bit, I would say the toe is a little bit wider, but the rest of the shoe is about the same. So definitely Racer, Trainer, and then this is the Racer G, the golf version of the shoe. And obviously this is just, sorry, I should, probably shouldn't throw the shoes like that. This is a big execution of the fly knit over the entire upper. Obviously with golf, the ground is going to be wet. So it's gonna be hard to wear something like this with a with, uh, just fly knit upper. So I, don't, I hope you guys can see this, but they added a bunch of fuse around here to protect you. And it goes up pretty high actually. It's almost all the way to the top of the heel here and extends all the way around the shoe. You have it here at the toe and then over the Nike swoosh. And then if you basically, if you follow the Nike swoosh up, that's where the fuse goes to protect your shoe. And obviously that's to protect you from the wet, from the dew that happens in the morning when you go play golf in the morning or just from the wet grounds when you're playing golf. And obviously to help prevent sand getting in your shoes, if you end up in the trap a lot, sort of like myself, then this could kind of help with that. But I really like these, they're super lightweight. This is something that you can wear off of the course. This is not, this doesn't look like a golf shoe necessarily. Now it does definitely have a more golf shoe vibe than the actual racer has, but I think that's just because it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more bulky. They've added some zoom here in the front. Now the Nike Flying Racer has no zoom at all. I can assure you of that. I like the way these look. I like the black and white color and I hope Nike actually does a few more colors of these because I wouldn't mind picking up a few different colors of these. These would be, this is like the perfect summer golf shoe to wear out early morning golf game. Just wear these, rock these, and then you can go do the rest of your day, which I really appreciate. I really like that. It's very nice. Integrated traction. They have a semi-translucent outsole where you can actually see the Nike Zoom at the bottom, which is a very cool detail. I really like that. So if you're into golf and you want to wear something that's untraditional, that's not what you usually see on the golf course, check out the uh, Nike Flyknit Racer G. I th definitely think these uh, will be should be on your radar. Anyway, that being said, let's go to the last box, which is a mystery box. Now this one is a complete mystery to me. Um, it came from a place called Super Snacks and I don't remember giving them my information or my address. So we will explore this together and uh, hopefully this won't be uh, the last time you see me based on the video when I find out what's in here. So let's see. So it's a giant, it's a giant pizza box. 
Is that a pizza box? So it says food is always epic. <gasps> oh, okay. I know what this is now. Okay, so um, I don't I don't know if you guys know Harley Harley from uh, Epic Meal Time. So I met Harley. He's a he's actually a sneakerhead. So I met him at SneakerCon Toronto, and we've been you know DM <laughs> we've been D we've been DMing each other back and forth talking about sneakers. He has a really big foot, so it's hard for him to kind of find the sizes that he likes. And he has said he had something that he was working on, and that he's going to send it to me. Uh, but he didn't want to spoil it for me. He just wanted me to get it and see what it is. So this is what it is. And I've actually saw this on his Instagram. So it's from Snooper, Super Snack Time, Eat Your Meat. You're welcome, Epic Meal Time. It's pizza in a bag. Basically, it's pepperoni beef jerky. That is so, <laughs> so, so there he is. There's Harley. Uh, hi, there. hi there, this is Harley Morsting writing. My YouTube show, Epic Meal Time, has been creating crazy food for almost a decade. It was my only way to jam as much bacon, booze, and beer, and beef, sorry, into, into your mind as possible until now. Get ready to chow down with pizza in the bag. The first pepperoni jerky that tastes just like Earth's favorite food, pizza. So tell your friends, followers, and favorite grocery store to watch out. The sauce boss is coming in hot and food will never be the same. Now go be a snack genius, Harley, co-creator of Epic Meal Time, founder of Super Snack Time. Super Snack Time, then there is a note that pretty much says the same thing, pizza in a bag, quick, delicious snack. And there are a bunch of different flavors. There's a sticker here. So the flavors that we have are, uh, there's Buffalo pizza style, there's Supreme pizza style, and there's pepperoni pizza style. So Buffalo, Supreme, and pepperoni. And I think I'm just gonna start with the basic, uh, let's go with pepperoni pizza style and see how that one tastes. There we go, all right. Oh, these are big, giant pieces. Look at that, that's a big, giant piece. So this is the pepperoni pizza style, let's see. Oh, it definitely tastes like pizza. That's for sure. Oh man. All right. All right, pretty good. These are small bags. These are pretty small bags. You get a few pieces in here. I mean, enough to hold you over. If you just want to, I'm um, chewing and talking at the same time. That's really terrible. If you just want to snack, but big shout out to Epic Meal Time. Big shout out to Harley Super Snack Time. Go ahead, get your beef jerky, pepperoni supreme, or buffalo chicken style pizza. Anyway, so this is a bit of a weird unboxing. Let's take a look. We have the food, this is a little spicy, I like it, I like it. So supreme pepperoni and buffalo, flying it golf. And then the hats from, are inspired by Wakanda. Big shout out to the folks at Foot Locker. Thank you Nike Golf and thank you Harley and Super Snack Time, appreciate you guys. As always guys, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe if you like what you see and then you enjoy, and you enjoy this channel. As always, I appreciate you. Make sure you stay tuned because I got some cool stuff coming up for you guys in the next few days. I'm Jacques Slade. And I'll see you soon. Peace.